Alright, what's good guys? JT here. Um, just first and foremost, I know I haven't been posting much videos as I was before. Um, I've been really busy and whatnot, but I did come up on some t-shirts and some other stuff. So, just to start off, um, Bodega was having a sale this past weekend. It's like their annual clear-out sale, so a lot of things were discounted. I did come up on about six shirts, five or six shirts. Um, so let's get into the first one. This is their We're Sorry Tomorrow tea in black. On the back it says Bodega. And then that's the first one. The second one is what's that? Play clothes. Um, it has army right on it with ants and stuff. It's actually a really good quality tea. I don't know play clothes makes tea that are like of that quality, really good quality teas. The next is another play shirt. It says play clothes, high rollers. It's got a guy on um like a bike or not the girl. It's pretty cool. Next are my tanks, since I needed some new tanks, I only have a few. Um, so I have to go with this. Um, it's a brand that I heard of, but can never really get into. It's better off dead. Um, these tanks, they, what they do is pretty much take um, symbols like Louis Vuitton, Chanel. Um, this is the only tricky thing off the top of my head, and they just like make their own designs of it. So this is Louis Vuitton with the flowers, and this is Louis Vuitton with. Um, like the chains and whatnot. I will say this that because this is like an Asian brand, that their stuff do does run like kind of small. So I'm usually about a medium, and get a large. All right. Onto the next. I got Bodega's fleece that they came out with this past winter. I need a new one, so I got this one. It has Bodega right there. Their their symbol is like their new symbol. Right, they won't focus, but they have the brown patches, zippers. Um, this one is actually reversible with the inside. It is this camo, but and I really don't like it like this, so I'm just going to wear it the other way around. And it has more pockets and whatnot inside. There's another pocket right here. But yeah. It's that and then on to the shoes. So of course I have to get some shoes. The first pair that I got was these Cortez Classic OG Leather. Retail was seventy dollars. Yeah. I'm actually really liking the like how um vintage Nikes are looking. Like just that look that they have, it's a lot different than that new stuff that we have now. So there's just a look at the OG leather. If the lighting is good enough, I can get good look. There we go. And bottom. And inside with the tape, I do it to all my shoes, and there's like this little flap right here. So it's like I don't know what the purse that is, but it does that. Second, I came came up on Bodega's uh, Lacoste um, collab. It's like the Legends or whatnot. It comes in this wooden crate. Sorry, eight. It slides out. And here's shoes. Pretty good quality. Actually, really good quality. This leather on the back here, on the back here, this is just like insane leather. Dig a stitch in right there. With Legends. The cross and tag on the tongue, laces, cross symbol embossed. Yeah, off white midsole and a nice gum bottom. For some reason, we're not seeing a lot of gum bottoms nowadays, but whatever. Um, it also came with the stickers, plastic stickers, and a t shirt, but I didn't get the one with the t shirt. Um, I was told that 
I was doing some research on these earlier today and found out that there's only limited to 150 pairs. So I got one of 150 apparently. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, well, that's it for today actually. Um, I'm gonna try to get some videos going. Um, oh, quick side note: I sold my Senhouse, my Chun Li's, and the last one that I'm waiting to sell are the Military Fours. Um, go check out that video. They're size seven, dead stock, size seven and a half, dead stock, OG everything. Hit me up via um, PM on YouTube or hit me up on my Twitter. I have the links in the description below. Um, but yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Peace.